Hey guys, Logan here with another video. Today, I got something pretty cool to show ya. This is the Seasonal Visions animated dug up coffin sold exclusively through Target. This has been around for a couple of years, two, three years now. It's definitely nothing new. Um, I think it's just a really popular item. Um, it's one of SVI's more kid friendly items uh, since they started kind of being a little less edgy with Target. Just kind of weird because I've always known SBI for these like super kind of hyper realistic animatronics that are like really creepy and really edgy and not some as kid friendly as this. So basically, it's just a toe pincher coffin that's like kind of coming out of the ground and has a skeleton inside of it that talks. It has two phrases and he lights up green and red. Now you really can't see because I'm filming this outside, like I always do, because it just has better lighting. Um, but the LEDs in it are pretty good and look really nice, especially under dark lighting. So definitely no complaints there. Animation, super simple. He just, his head moves and his hand moves as he speaks. He does not have a moving mouth. The actual skull itself, I believe, is a recycled mold from a, uh, it's like a reaper that they did a long time ago that hung up and has like a lantern. It was sold through Morris. I don't know if they still have it, but I remembered them having it a long time ago. Um, overall concept, I think it's really cool. Uh, I definitely like how they did the broken out like hole in it and how the uh, skull like this grumpy old man, you know, the back in my day kind of old dude, you know. And he has a phrase kind of like that. Not exactly like back in my day, but like something that's still kind of funny. It's definitely more of a light-hearted animatronic. The audio is not that scary. The actual prop itself is not that scary. And I can appreciate that. Not everything has to be super overly edgy and scary. Um, I like having a good even mix in my haunt with some kid-friendly things, some scary things. Some things that like hardcore horror fans can enjoy. And also things that the little kids can enjoy. I get a lot of kids every year, so it's nice to have that even balance of things. So he retails for $40, which I think is kind of a stretch, though it is Target we're talking about, and Target is in no way a cheap company, or cheap retailing a company. Um, their stuff is definitely not cheap at all. Um, but it's a prop, I've, I've seen this thing a couple times, and I've always passed up on it, but it's a prop that I kind of grew to like over time, and, um, thank you and Mrs. Cicadas. <laughs> And, um, I eventually caved. I was doing kind of a shopping spree and just getting a bunch of props and stuff for my haunt ready. And I was getting smaller things. It was mainly kind of towards the cemetery because I do a big cemetery every year. And it, nothing gets more cemetery-like than a coffin with a skeleton inside of it. And, uh, I got some other things from Target. I think there's already a video of one of the items. And I've got, well, I think like two more to film or so I don't know I mean I've bought so much stuff and I've like not filmed any of them so I'm trying to kind of catch up before I get everything out and put in my displays uh but yeah let's get on with the demo oh he is also sound act or sound and motion activated I believe because it's in motion sensor I'm assuming he's sound activated because of how small he is You can actually see how bright the green LED is in his hand right there. He does also have a volume control. Um, I forgot to mention that. So. So yes, he has kind of an old elderly man voice and he's a lot more light hearted. Nothing like too overly edgy and scary like what SBI typically does. I give you a little look in the back. It has, so he has a battery compartment, it's driving button. That's this his um volume control. I have it on a lower setting, just in case he is kinda loud. I'll kinda turn it up a little more so you can hear one more phrase. I'm looking for a new place to live. Any suggestions? You don't have any room at your place. I don't take up a lot of space. Yeah, see, it does get pretty loud. And there is 
the little SVI stamp on this. Basically, saying, hey, this is ours. Don't try to copy it or take it or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that is the dug up coffin. Um, again, it's a, <laughs> a really cute item. It doesn't really stand up very well. Um, this is very kind of rough terrain, which is going to be on that. So I had to find a way to help him stand. I had a rock behind him this whole time. And kind of see when it fell over. Um, yeah, that's. Oh, get my stand back up. But that's the coffin. Um, gotta give you a little look inside. You can kind of see some of this innards. Not a fan of that. Um, personally, I don't like it. And you can see the kind of bits and pieces of an animatronic. Not a fan of the expo really exposed screws either. Most of them are like kind of in the kind of cracks of the wood when there's like that one that's like kind of really out there. And speaking of which, I do like the wood like texturing they did. They did a really good job detailing this. Um, I do kind of wish for a little more of a paint job on it. Um, kind of darken these a little more. There is some paint, just not a whole lot. It's not very noticeable. But that's kind of my only kind of complaint. And I might go through and like do a little work on it later. But as of right now, I also feel like it. Um, and then another thing, so there's a screen and there is plastic behind it. So you can't get to the innards. So that's kind of nice. Um, the actual coffin itself blow mold plastic um not really surprising there um but yeah that's this guy i am starting to kind of like target stuff a little more again i do like how it's not overly scary because while i personally my personal tastes are more towards spookier things like that guy up there i do again like to have an even mix of things that are really scary things that are kind of more lighthearted, kin friendly because I like having things that everyone enjoys. And obviously, I like this as well enough to get it. So, yeah. If you have any questions about this item, obviously, leave a comment down below. I'll answer the best of my ability. And what do you think about this? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Personally, I kind of like it. Um, and I do recommend this item if you find it. I don't know if Target really does coupons for stuff like this. But if they do, totally use a coupon. Because, again, 40 bucks is pretty expensive. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.